So my relationship with the Coastal Prairie Conservancy uh, was that in the uh, late 1980s, Bill Stransky and I were working as volunteers with the Houston Sierra Club, and it quickly became clear that nobody was gonna do anything to save this ecosystem. Certainly the Katy Perry Conservancy, now the Coastal Prairie Conservancy, was the first one to really start acquiring you know, sizable chunks of land, either through acquisition or through easements. And you know, then they've delegated work to me for other conservation issues along the coast, a lot of it on the wildlife refuge system. Is, is nature a place we visit? or is it something we have to have that is essential to us? And now we know it's essential to us. We are failing as a region and as a people um, if we don't save these spaces. Well, you know, if it weren't for the CPC, none of this land out here would be protected. You know, without them protecting this land, they're just, it wouldn't exist. What I would say I'm most proud of is probably helping the CPC acquire land. Uh, I, I just think that's the single most important thing we've got to do. I come here two days a week, neither hail nor sleet nor snow or whatever uh, prevents me from coming here because it's the way I grew up and my parents were, were teachers and outdoors people and it's just an extension of my childhood and then what I like to do. I've created a conservation easement for the property, which means it can never be developed, no roads can be run through it, uh, no more electricity can be put into it. I can't even build an outhouse down at the hay meadow. I hope it continues to grow the trees, and my fish, and my birds, because they're gonna need a place to come in 100 years. I became a volunteer with the Coastal Prairie Conservancy to find a way to give back to the area that I grew up in. Um, I see the land ecosystem as an opportunity to connect with nature on a deeper level. It's a lot of fun and brings me a lot of enjoyment to be able to be a steward of the eco-region that gave so much to me being from Houston and growing up in this area. I think that the work that we do here at the Coastal Prairie Conservancy relates to people's everyday lives in the sense that a healthy environment, specifically a healthy environment in an urban area, requires human involvement. After spending time out at the Indian Grass Preserve, I leave feeling rejuvenated and kind of refreshed knowing that growing up in such an urban area, there still are places nearby where you can escape all of that and be surrounded by such wild landscapes and birds and wildlife and beautiful flowers that you don't always see when you're surrounded by pavement in the suburbs. It's touched a lot of people's lives and continues to and, and has always been informed around the wild spaces and also the lives of the people um, who live there and who uh, need to engage with it. And um, I think that's really an important part of what the organization does.